You asked for it, we're bringing it. Best out of position players in all of FC24. Let it rip in the comments. It's gonna be tons of debate on who qualifies or doesn't qualify. We're looking at the positions played on the item. And then I'm telling you, that same player is gonna perform better somewhere else. What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Like it, subscribe it. Vibes immaculate. Honorable mentions, right off the rip. I'm not gonna do this a lot. I won't be a broken record, but Kunde, you got an upgrade. EA has him at a center defensive mid or a center mid. Don't do that. Put him back to the position he should be in. Naturally, what's right is right. He's that reliable Toyota Camry of a center back. His turning, responsiveness, on point. If you need the parallel park, this is the Frenchman to do the job. Happy to foreshadow, this will not be a repeat. Just had to talk about Koundé real quick, and we've done so. Rolfo, you are a special individual. Box-to-box -box greatness. Type of pitcher perfect in the midfield. And they have her out wide, but as the game has prospered and progressed, you need a little more of a kicker, some extra pace. I've been impressed from day one, and I'm telling you, if she did not have injuries, there would have been upgrades. She's part of that Barcelona super team. The starting 11 is out of control. Just reckless. They're dominating, folks. Can we talk about the physical? Rofo has a 91 for strength without a chemistry style. Disgusting. In the best of ways. EA even included her with the trickster package. Last of the honorable mentions. We're going back to a French theme. We have the likes of Antoine Griezmann, who we've all seen up front but at this point of the title i would argue he doesn't necessarily have the pace to be a breakaway striker and the same could be said as a winger and he doesn't have the hold up play that's necessary from a physical standpoint so you're best suited to have him in more of a floating role somewhere in the midfield and then let him do his thing fully expressive at number 10 i've got dirk kout and you are crazy if you are playing dirk kout in a right wing or a right mid position Six foot tall, high, high work rates, three star skills, three star weak foot, greens across the board. He is a utility player. OG, triple OG. If anything, he doesn't stand out enough, but he plays for the badge. He's an absolute workhorse. I've used him as a center mid, a holding mid, a right back, even a center back if needed. All of those positions are better than playing him out wide. That's the takeaway. Run with it. At number nine. We have the golden boy from Arsenal. He will not be traded, will not be moved. It's not up for debate. Saka. Plenty of deserved upgrades and appreciation from a fandom perspective. Now hear me out. I see the right mid or the right wing, but he doesn't feel like an authentic or an organic winger. And he has enough defensive capability and natural chase back to play him somewhere in the midfield. I would prefer that. Four star skills, four star weak foot, five foot ten. Maybe it's the two play styles. In a title where EA is giving these out like candy on Halloween, they did not supply Sokka with the goods. At number eight, and this could be controversial, I have Pateus. She has been a delight this year. One of the most dominant midfielders in the game. Also part of that Barcelona collective that's just unstoppable. She starts off as a center mid or a left wing. But I'm going to argue on behalf of putting her into more of a floating false nine role as a center forward or even a center attacking mid. I should also mention I've played her out wide. That just seems like a waste of talent. The five star weak foot, five star skill moves, five foot eight. And it's beautiful when you get into the particulars. Eight play styles off rip, the shooting, the passing, dribbling. It's all right. And if anything, I just want to put Pateus into the maximum amount of offensive opportunity possible. And I'm finding as the game has gotten into later stages of the ecosystem, or at least currently where we're at, I can find more chase back players, but I'm struggling with some of the difference makers and she is dynamic. Tiki Taka as a play style plus to go with power shot, finesse shot, incisive, ping pass, technical flair and first touch. At number seven, we have Socrates and I feel that he's misunderstood. So I had to give the man some love. Should also mention, these are players that come to mind from personal experience. I could be leaving off plenty of names. Socrates at six foot four with all the Brazilian flair you could ask for, starts as a center attacking mid. I would make a case or an argument, floating false nine, 
or even a center mid and something that I've came across when you're dealing with unique center midfielders if they have size if they have physicality you can get away with them being alongside a holding mid and it's not a detriment if anything it's an advantage going forward also as a five-star weak foot which is a nice little touch striker center forward center mid all better than his center attacking midfield role and he has 90 stamina give the man some burn at number six and one of the greatest players in premier league history wayne rooney what a career and if anything he might fall under a similar troublesome path a little too much of an in-betweener he's good as a striker or a center forward or a cam his baseline positions but i'm squeezing a little bit of that extra juice when i use him as a center mid and if anything i'm redefining the position as a rotational center mid five foot nine high high work rates three star skills four star weak foot. the the skill moves hurt you for going forward let's call a spade a spade but again similar theme he can do it all but the physicality allows for his defending to be subpar or below average it makes up for it. He will put another midfielder chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder. He knocking people over. WWE at its finest. 85 jumping, 89 stamina, 85 strength, 88 aggression. That's supported. Finesse, chip, power, acrobatic, Travella, relentless. Come on. This is the makings for some greatness. Move his position. At number five, a personal favorite, Money Mares. You are out of pocket if you are playing this man out wide. The attributes, the stat lines, the characteristics, they do not match up. This man just oozes of deceptive and deceitful touches and offensive ingenuity. Five-star skills. He's got one of the cleanest and crispiest first touches in difficult scenarios. But he doesn't have the burner. You can't play someone with 78 sprint speed for a winger will never work. Mares has to be in the middle of the pitch, which incorporates nicely with pinged pass for a play style plus. Mares is a traffic evader. We would have loved to have him in Istanbul. That is a reference to the Champions League last year and the traffic in Istanbul. Hopefully that hits for someone. At number four, and this is clear as night and day, Risa should not be out wide. Stop forcing it cut it out it's crystal clear this man needs to be centrally located this is like forcing some wi-fi to the back of the crib knowing the router's out front move the router closer or you've got to move that desk something's got to give six foot two three star skills three star weak foot that might have already said enough none of his play styles make sense for a wing player this should be a center mid or a holding mid every day of the week not giving you expression with the skills or the dribbling doesn't have that deep level of versatility nowhere near enough pace to challenge people out wide play him in the middle of the pitch at number three and this hurts my heart i have so much appreciation for ian wright and he finally gets an upgrade left mid left wing right mid right wing all the wings and ea upgrades his skills upgrades his weak foot hallelujah let's talk about the elephant in the room None of you are going to incorporate an expensive winger with 76 passing, 62 crossing, 70 long pass, 73 curve. Not a chance. And I got to pay a premium. Ian Wright needs to play up front. Put him as a striker. And not only the price point, because the evaluation is outrageous. Nearly 600,000 coins. And even though EA is handing out fodder like Oprah, on the Oprah Winfrey show. I have no idea if that show's even ongoing. I know she started the network at Oxygen, but she used to hand out, there's there's that meme with the cars. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not mad at having the additional quick step play style. Plus I am still a little bit salty that EA made this so expensive because a lot of us, frankly speaking, are fans of Ian Wright, but the price point and the attainability just don't match market rate at all. At number two, Acuna and at this point solid value starts out out wide left back left wing back left mid but this man's a pit bull and he's a textbook center mid or holding midfield you would question his pacing out wide but it's not an issue as we get a little more centrally based five foot eight but he's built with wide shoulders he's been in the gym he's doing the traps not skipping out on leg day the squats they've been achieved the machine out of commission this is the machine got the four star skills which is a nice touch you see the dribbling i'm telling you the side to side on point facilitation 94 stamina off rip one of the best value center mids you could use 
just don't play him as a left back. I tried to do it early on this year. I had a little bit of success, but sometimes I was getting left for dust. That's the reality. And at number one, we're talking pro caliber shifting or out of position work here. Patrick Vieira from a center mid, put him as a center back. At one point, that partnership, if you date it back to FIFA 17, FIFA 18, Rude Hullet, Patrick Vieira, they went hand in hand. As the games have seen more upgrades, earlier upgrades, more versatility in the midfield in particular, Patrick Vieira now makes more sense to push to a center back because he's six foot four, three star skills, three star weak foot. He's missing some of that extracurricular. But when you're dealing with center back reactivity, center back responsiveness even center back agility he would be competitive and Vieira moves with that iconic touch some players get a little bit of a boost whether it's an icon or a hero he's one of those guys and from the jump he's one of the best defensive and most physical players in the game it's quite the combination add in four defensive play styles including a play style plus and block intercept slide tackle and bruiser press proven to get out of the back and relentless so he's never tired this is the ultimate combination for one of the best center backs in the game i call it how i see it let me know your thoughts i'm looking forward to stirring up those comments i feel strongly about this list i think we put together quality names that all make sense for out of position players if you're new it is free to subscribe if you want the gameplay the second channel head on over to the playbook and as always i have a lot more coming out asap asap